So currently I am 18 weeks pregnant and in a couple days we are going to learn gender of baby Denzel. So I thought for fun we should do some gender prediction tests to see what they say. Of course these are old wives tales so that doesn't mean that it's true. I'm sure we'll get different results for different tests but I thought that this would just be something fun that we could do um, while we're waiting until we find out the gender. Right now we still don't know the gender. I still think it's a boy and Anthony still thinks it's a girl. So just by looking at some of the um, gender prediction tests um, that I looked online, I tried to find the most popular ones. So the first one that I'm gonna do is the Chinese calendar. Um, the way you can do this is you can go on any website, um, just type in gender predictor, um, Chinese calendar in Google and you can look it up. If you put in your age at the time that, that you conceived the baby and also what month you conceived um, and then you push submit, it'll find out if it's a boy or a girl. So I am 24 years old and we conceived this baby in July. So when I put that into the gender predictor, it said, boy. So that's one for boy. Um, next one that I looked at was heartbeat. So the old wives tale is if the baby's heartbeat is over 140 beats per minute, then it is a girl. And it is, if it is below 140 beats per minute, it is a boy. So we've heard baby's heartbeat twice now at the doctor's office. The first time it was 165 and the second time it was 150. So currently it is a girl. So that is one for boy and one for girl. Another one I looked up was dad weight gain. So if the dad of the baby has gained any weight, um, then it means a certain gender. So if dad has gained weight, then it means it's a boy. If dad has not gained any weight, then that means it's a girl. So Anthony, have you gained any weight? I'm actually down like two, three pounds. Yay. <laughs> So Anthony did not, so that means it is a girl. So that's one for boy and two for girls. Um, another gender prediction that I looked up was acne. They say if you get a lot of acne, then that means you're having a girl. And if you don't have a lot of acne while you're pregnant, then that means you're having a boy. So I have been getting a lot of acne. You've been seeing in my updates, um, especially along my jaw area. So that is a yes, so that is girl. So that is what, three girl, one boy. Another one that I kind of thought of was the even odd test. So if your birth year and the age that you conceived at are both even or both odd numbers, then you're having a girl. If one of the numbers is odd and one of the numbers is even, then you're having a boy. So I was born in 1993, an odd number, and I am 24 years old, an even number. So according to this test, I'm having a boy. So two for boy and three for girl. The next couple ones that I'm gonna do are all ones that I have to um, show you guys to do. So the first one of those kind of tests that I'm gonna do is called the ring test. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this one. So what you do is you take a strand of your hair and you loop it through your ring. I think it can be any ring you have. Um, and then you hold it over your belly and if the ring swings in a circular motion, then that means it's a girl. And if the ring swings back and forth, then that means you're having a boy. So let's do this test and see which, what it finds out. Okay, so here, here it goes. I have my ring, I'm using my engagement ring, and then I have tied it around one of my hairs. So let's see, and I'm gonna have Anthony help me which way that the ring goes. What's it doing? God's uh, back and forth. It's back and forth? Yeah. That means boy. Yeah, it's just back and forth. It's just back and forth? Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that means another one for boy. So what is that, Anthony? Three boy and three girl? Oh yeah, so we're having an it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's still more tests to come. Okay, so the next test is the key test. And this one is really kind of ridiculous, but it made me laugh, so I wanted to include it. So this test 
it's depending on how I pick up the key off this table right here. Let me show the key. So here's the key and I'm just gonna pick it up. Ready? <laughs> Okay. Poorly. What does okay. that mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I picked up the key. So if you pick it out, pick it up by the round part, then it is a boy. If I would have picked it up by the narrow part, then that means girl. So I picked it up by the round part, so that is another point for boy. So it is now four points boy, three points girl. That seems kind of biased. Like, <laughs> hmm, which one do I want? Well, let's pick it up by the I, thin well, part because I want a girl. I don't feel ever pick up keys by the narrow part I always pick it up by the fat part isn't that just kind of how you're supposed to pick up a key I'm but you have a lanyard you pick it up by the lanyard yeah I guess <laughs> what's that mean that, that <laughs> is the key test got it okay guys so the next test is called the baking soda test so what you do is you get two tablespoons of baking soda and you put it into a glass like I have done so. So this is my glass. Anthony wouldn't let me put it in um, any drinking glasses if that was gross. So I put it in a flower vase. <laughs> but whatever works. Um, and then what you do is you pee in a cup and then you add some of your urine to the baking soda. And if it fizzes, like pop, then it is a boy, and if nothing happens and it's flat, then that means it's a girl. So let's see what happens. Okay, so again, here's my cup. Here is my baking soda. I have peed in a cup. Let us see what happens. It looks like that it is not fizzing at all. So that means it is girl because it is flat. So no fizz means girl. So I believe that is four for boy now and four for girl. On to the next test. Okay guys, so the next test is the Drano test, which I had never ever heard of this before, not on any videos I've seen on YouTube or anything, but I came across it on a website and so I wanted to try it. So with this test, what you do is you get a bottle of Drano, like so. And what you do is you take some of that Drano and you pour it in a clear glass. So I'm using um, the same glass as before. I rinsed it out um, and I've already put some Drano in here. So what the gender prediction says is if the Drano turns dark, then you are having a boy. If there is no change in the Drano, then you are having a girl. So this is kind of gonna be odd because the Drano is already clear. So I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Here we go. So again, here is my cup, here is my Drano, and let's see what happens. It says that um, you should wait um, 10 to 15 seconds um, after you have poured uh, your urine in it to see the reaction. So after pouring it, it already is starting to look darker, although I think my urine was a little dark. Um, but it does look darker to me, and so I'm going to say that this it means boy. So, like I said before, it did get a little bit darker. It still looks a little dark. I'm not really sure about this test, though, because my urine was already a little dark, but we'll just say boy. So, that is another one for boy, so I do believe it is five boy and four girl now. So, um, I have one test left. And that is the red cabbage test. And so what you do is you buy a red cabbage from the store, you chop it up, and then you boil it and let it soak in boiled water for 10 minutes. And then after that's done, um, you add some of your urine to it. If the water is turning pink or red, you are having a boy. If it turns purple, then you are having a girl. So let's see what this test says. Okay guys, again, like I said, this is the last test, so it comes all down to this, although kind of not really. 
So right now we are at four for girl and five for boy. So if this one says girl, then these gender tests don't help at all, which is like silly because obviously they don't help their old wives tales. There are only 50, there's only 50% chance that they're right, but I just thought I would do something fun and share with you guys. So here's the last test. Like I said, it is the red cabbage test. So I boiled the red cabbage, let it sit for 10 minutes, and this is what it looks like right now. So here is what it looks like. It already looks like it's basically a purple right now. If it just stays the same, then I guess it's a girl. If it turns pink or red, then boy. So here is my glass and then, okay, here we go. I will pour and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so I have poured and honestly it looks purple in this camera but to me it looks pink so i think that's a boy um but i guess it could either mean girl because i mean it was already it was a dark purple before so i'm gonna say this means i think this means pink i think this color is pink and i'm gonna say girl it kind of looks like a mix in between See if I can like hold it up to the light. I don't know, down here it looks purple, but in my eyes and I'm looking straight at it, it looks pink. So I'm gonna say this says boy. So with the red cabbage test, that makes it six for boy and four for girl. It's still a very tight race, um, but that's all the gender things I had today. I know there's other ones that you can do, but these are the ones that I just thought would be the most fun and the best. So that's what it says. Supposedly, according to these, I am having a boy. Uh, like I said, in a couple days, um, we're gonna go and find out the gender, although I won't be finding out the gender. It will be Anthony finding out the gender, and he'll know for about two weeks until I know. Um, until we have our gender reveal party and then I will know. So this was still really fun to do. I'm excited that I could do it. Um, it's just one of those fun things of being pregnant that you got to do. Anthony, you see he is gone. He did not want to participate in the urine part of my tests. There you have it. That's what's going on. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys did any gender predictions and what they told you. Um, I just think again that this is just a fun game to play. So thanks guys. Bye So update on the red cabbage test. I asked Anthony and he says this looks purple So I guess I'll just leave it up to you guys. Do you think it's pink or purple? Let me know if so if it means if it's purple then that means we're tied at five boy five girl if it's pink Then that means we have six boy and four girl. So let me know what you guys think